today I have a question for you to begin with. How would you feel if your words came true or whatever you said simply manifested within a few minutes or hours? Probably you'll feel like a magician or a mystic or a monk. In fact, I too feel the same whenever my words manifest in the shortest possible time. So today in this video, I'm going to share with you another of my manifestation success stories of how exactly I manifested a particular situation by saying out my beliefs aloud. So keep watching till the end because I'm going to first share my story and then I'll tell you how I did that. This happened during the Navratris of 2022, which we just celebrated. We Bengalis celebrate Durga Puja around this time. Yes, I am a Bengali. So this time I was the part of Durga Puja celebrations in Kolkata for the very first time in my life. So one of these days during the Navratris, me, my cousin and both our families were hopping from one pandal to another to see the goddess Durga idols, each made with its own uniqueness. However, the crowd that I witnessed was something I had never ever seen in my entire life. It was absolutely crazy. The roads were crowded, the pandals were crowded, and even the restaurants had long queues outside the gates where people were waiting for their turn to enter and have their meals. After a lot of pandal hopping, we all were very tired and were starving. And it was too obvious that if we ordered the food after reaching our homes, it would have taken ages for the food to arrive. So we decided to head over to the nearest mall and have our dinner. Plus the food court had plenty of seats and food stalls and restaurants. So we thought we would get to sit and have our dinners peacefully and also get the dinner faster in this way. But as we entered the mall, it was still crowded at 10 p.m. That is when I and all of us realized that the malls usually extend their working hours during the festival days. So looking at the crowd, my family and especially my cousin's sister started saying that we would never get a seat and we would have to wait for long, long hours and in long, long queues before we could get our order. But even in that situation, I told them, don't worry, you will see that we are going to get a place to sit peacefully and have our dinner. Anyway, as we reached the food court of the mall, it seemed like my family was right. We scanned the entire food court, the entire floor from one end to the other, but there was not a single space, not a single empty space there. People were even standing and eating. It was pathetic. That is when my sister told me, see, I told you we would not get a place to sit. I just smiled at her and I started thinking, just wait, we are going to get a seat. We are going to get a place to sit. And I was saying this more inside my mind because I knew if I had said this aloud again and again in front of them or if I had tried to convince them, I would have gotten even more of the opposite energy. They would have tried to convince me even more that it was not possible. So in order to avoid that clash of energy, I chose to say this line inside my head repeatedly with firm belief. So I simply said, we'll see, let's just order first. Thankfully, we saw one stall which was quite empty and it was also my favorite stall, it was Taco Bell. So I thought, why not? This is going to be the perfect place to order from. Now, whoever ordered was asked whether they wanted to dine there or whether they wanted a takeaway. 
Now, my family was confident that we are not going to get a seat. So they asked the guy in the counter to pack our order for takeaway. Now that the order was placed, we started waiting for our order to get done. Just close to the Taco Bell counter, there were a flight of stairs. And this area was away from the seating area of the food court. As our legs were hurting bad with all the walking and pandal hopping, we decided to sit on those stairs. Now, this little cousin sister of mine, she is a bit of an explorer. So she decided to check out what was there on the top of the stairs. She started climbing the stairs and as she reached the top, she stood there shocked, completely shocked. I was looking at her and I thought what was wrong. She quietly came down and told me and others that there were seating arrangements there on that floor. It was not even a floor. It was a space, an area between the third and the fourth floor. The food court was on the third floor and there were certain restaurants at the fourth floor, but this 3.5 level which was between these two levels was kind of a secret place and i guess a lot of people did not know about this place nobody believed when my sister told us that there is a seating arrangement in that area there were only a handful of people who were there and dining there so we all were very happy and we started going towards that place that is when my sister asked me in total shock, how did you do that? Every time you say something positive, it happens. How? After returning home, I explained to her everything in detail, how I do that. So let me explain to you two the same thing in detail. Carefully listen to what I'm saying you can also note it down to reach the manifestation level where i am at now you need to train your mind to believe what you say this is very important you need to believe what you say most of the time we say positive affirmations but we might not be believing in those the affirmations won't work that way so basically, you train your mind to do three things simultaneously. First, you train your mind to think about your desired outcome. Second, you train your mind to speak about your desired outcome. And third, this is the most important one, you believe your desired outcome. Now, most of the people who complain that the law of attraction is not working for them or they are not able to manifest their desired outcomes, they are mostly making mistake in the third point, which is believing what you say or you think about the desired outcome. And how do you believe what you say and what you think? You can actually use several different methods to make your belief system stronger. One is the reasoning method. If you don't know about the reasoning method, you can watch my other videos. I'll be sharing the link towards the end. But this time I have used what I call the pre-evidence method. The pre-evidence method means when you have some similar evidences about your manifestation capabilities you keep on applying it you keep on using it as your reason to believe that yes this time also i am going to manifest now for example several times before it has happened with me that whatever i said became my reality there were many 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 instances so I was confident that this time also, this is going to be true. So those previous instances were my reason to make my belief stronger about this particular situation also. I knew that this particular situation scenario is also going to be in my favor the way I want. If you are a beginner, what you can do is 
if you have problem in recollecting the previous instances where you manifested something because of your belief system because of the way you used the law of attraction applied it in your lives make a note in your notebook or somewhere somewhere safe where you can go back and read it for yourself because when you do that you will be reminded of all the instances when you have manifested before because of your belief system so write all these things down somewhere when you go back and read it again and again you can apply these things as your reason to fulfill your next manifestation i hope it makes sense well that's all for this video and these are the two videos where i have explained the reasoning method with my law of attraction success stories so please go ahead and watch these if you haven't yet and i'll see you next time bye bye